Once again, let us pray. Holy and eternal God, we give you thanks for the power of your word read and proclaimed, for speaking your word in the creation of all the world, and for the incarnate word, Jesus Christ. We give you thanks that all our hopes aspirations, all good things that we hope to see, all beauty, is found in him. We give you thanks that by his touch and by his presence among us and within us, and beside us, that as the song says, though the seas may roar, and we might find ourselves in chaos and tumult, by your word and by your promise, and by the spark of faith that you have given us, we can be assured that it is well with our soul. In these moments of confusion and anxiety and stress, O Holy Spirit, blow across this world and touch us afresh with your love and your life that we might be borne up to face the day by day until the sun rises over the horizon and we walk with faith in a new day to come. Give us faith Give us endurance, give us peace. Lord, draw especially close to all those who are stepping out in the front lines of addressing this disease for all medical staff, medical professionals, hospital attendants, all the essential servants, all those especially vulnerable. Extend your hand and your life-giving presence to them. And now as we prepare to go from this place of worship into all that we face into the future, shine your light on us and give us the ability to carry that light to one another. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. And so go from this place, this gathered space across technology, in community with one another. Go knowing that God goes with you in Jesus Christ, and go assured in faith that Jesus has the power to reach us no matter where we might go, in life and even in death. Jesus is Lord. So as you do receive this benediction, may God the triune God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit go above you to watch over you behind you to encourage you, beside you to befriend you, and within you to show you the way, both now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.